Hello again. So today we're coming back to video number two, star scorecard cheat code 5.3b. 5.3b, remember, and C are connected. Multiplication, division. You, you have to be comfortable multiplying. You have to know your times tables, right? Uh, so again, for, for, for multiplication, factor times factor is the product. Product equals the answer to a multiplication problem. Factors are the numbers you multiply together. So, and remember, last video, video number one, I made a huge mistake. And then I caught it, but I was super lucky. I caught it because I was doing work on paper. Don't just do things on your head, okay? Um, but watch the video, watch my mistake, and then see how I caught it. And I, I want you guys to learn from that. Number four, the square... The length, the side length of a square is 20 millimeters, right? So square, this is huge. We've got to know what a square is. Square has four equal sides. Every side is the exact same length. So 20, 20, 20, 20. Perfect. Which statement is true about a square? Which statement about the square is true? F, the perimeter, vocab. Got to know vocab. Perimeter equals all the way around around an object is perimeter. So perimeter, that'd be 20 times four is 80. Our perimeter is 80. The perimeter of a square, oh, wrong, 400 millimeters. That is wrong, 20 times 20. 20 times 20, 20 times 20, that would be the area. So the area, we could just look like this. You know, that's when you got all the squares. So that would be 20 times 20 is area. The perimeter of the square is 80 millimeters because 20 times 4 is 80. Yes, that's our answer. H, the area of a square is 40 square millimeter. No, 20 times 2, it's not 20 times 2, 1, 2. No, it's 20 times 20 is 400, just like right there. So that is wrong. J, the area of a square is 80 millimeters because 20 times 4, no, that is the perimeter. So this question, yes, multiplication. B, it's it's asking you about, do you know definitions of square? Do you know your geometry? All right. Number five, a conference room, a conference center has 12 rooms that are, each have a floor area of eight, 875 square feet and six rooms. So 12 times 875 and then six rooms that each have a square foot of nine have a floor area of 950 square feet. So that's 18 rooms. Six plus 12 is, is 18. What is the total floor area in square feet of these rooms? These rooms, does it specify, does it say the six rooms or the 12 rooms, the big rooms? No, no, no. It says these, like all of them. So let's do 12 times. 875 times 12. 2 times 5 is 10. Remember, you can pause the video, do the work, and then check your answer later. 10. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17. Notice my columns are straight. 1 times 5, oh, add my 0. 1 times 5 is 5, 7, 8. 0, 0, 15. 10,500. 10, hey, that's the answer, right? Wrong! Wrong! They're generally going to give you an answer that might seem right, but it's like only part of the question. Because we still have six rooms we need to add. So 950 square feet times six, zero, six times five is 30, right? Six times nine. Check this out. Multiples of nine, we can times six, right? One, two, three, four, five times six. So we hold down the sixth digit, 50, five, four, 54. So nine times six is 54 plus three is 57. So let's add these together. 5,700 plus 10,500, zero, zero, 12, carry my one, six, 16,200. C, it's our answer. They tried to trick you with A, but they can't. They're not going to trick us. We're too good for that. <laughs> we 
We too good. All right. Number six. On Monday, 149 people each bought one CD. So Monday equals 149. Okay. On Tuesday, 263 people. Tuesday is 263 people each bought one CD. So, you know, times one or times one, right? All of the CDs cost $9. What is the total amount paid for the CDs on these two days? So both days total. Let's add these together. How many CDs were purchased total? 12, nine times, nine plus three is 12. One plus four is five, plus six is 11. One plus one is two, plus two is 412 total CDs. How much was each CD? It was $9. 412 times nine times, nine times two is 18. Nine times one is 10, is nine plus one is 10. Nine times four, same trick. Nine times four. One, two, three, four. Thirty, and then six. Thirty-six, three-six, thirty-six. Thirty-six plus one is thirty-seven. Three thousand seven hundred eight dollars. Jay. Jay's our answer. Okay, that's the last bit. That's the last problem. Guys, thanks so much for for watching these videos, let me know how I can help you. See you next time.